The Earth's atmosphere properties of air. There aren't very many paragraphs in this reading, so let's just get, get them marked right away. This will be paragraph one, this will be paragraph two, and we're going to read both of these together. So the questions we're looking for answers for, what is the atmosphere? How do we understand the atmosphere? What is air and what makes up air? What is air pressure and how does air pressure work? So Earth is covered by a blanket of air called the atmosphere. Basically, the atmosphere is layers of air made up of matter, and those would be molecules. So the atmosphere begins at the Earth's surface and extends over 600 miles up towards space. Let's investigate the properties of air and the structure and dynamics of Earth's atmosphere. Air is a mixture of gaseous elements and compounds. These include nitrogen, oxygen, water, argon, and carbon dioxide. Also includes greenhouse gases. All right, surprisingly, the element nitrogen makes up the largest proportion of Earth's air, and we're going to look at a graph in just a second. About 78% is made up by nitrogen, and oxygen makes up about 21% of the air. If you look at that, that's about 99% of all of the atmosphere. So what makes up that other 1%? Well, the argon, carbon dioxide, greenhouse gases, and gases such as that. Where do we see the meaning or the description for what atmosphere is? Well, this is pretty good right here. A blanket of air. Also, layers of air made up by matter, made up of molecules. So the atmosphere extends over 600 miles into space. What is air made of? It's a mixture of gaseous elements and compounds, specifically greenhouse gases. The main ideas, the atmosphere begins at the Earth's surface and extends over 600 miles into space. What is the atmosphere? There it is. Air is a mixture of gaseous elements and compounds. So these gases include nitrogen, oxygen, water, argon, carbon dioxide, and then this is pretty important information right here as well. So if you don't have a pie chart somewhere in your notes yet showing the composition of the atmosphere, what air is made up of and what makes up the atmosphere, and this is all really pretty much the lower layer. What is that lower layer of the atmosphere? The troposphere. Okay, and so we have nitrogen, 78%. We have oxygen, 21%. Interestingly enough, this winds up being almost a 4 to 1 ratio, approximately 80% nitrogen, and oxygen is approximately 20%, and that would be a 4 to 1 ratio. So the way to understand this 4 to 1 ratio is that if there were four molecules of nitrogen, there would be one molecule of oxygen. If there were eight molecules of nitrogen, there would be two molecules of oxygen. And so if there were 78 molecules of nitrogen, there would be 21 molecules of oxygen, and so forth. So this ratio of 78% to 21% or approximately 80% to 20%, or 4 to 1, uh, kind of helps you to understand the balance of the volumes between nitrogen molecules and oxygen molecules. We're finished with paragraph 1 and 2. Make sure you've got this graph down. Make sure you've got your reading mark. If you have to go back to the middle of the video and get your reading mark, do that. And let's look at paragraph 3. 